Lazy, cloudy days. That's what I call them. Lazy, cloudy days. When you wake up and there is no sunshine, there's a gray sky, but that sunshine, that gigantic ball of fire that gets in your eyes and blinds you while you're driving, it's not there. So your body says, today is going to be a lazy, cloudy day. You know the rain is on the way, and you allow it to affect you in the way of saying, no, I feel no need to be creative. And yet you've got to. You've got to get on with your day, a family to be with, a job to go to. You've got to go do some shopping. You've got to do some things outside. You can't let a lazy, cloudy day be what tears apart your desire to grow forward. That's an everyday thing. That's a participation. And gaining access to that discipline requires a conversation with that image in the mirror. Don't be mean to it. Don't be mean to it. Just say, look, I understand it's a lazy, cloudy day, but we've got to get some stuff done. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day today. We're reading from January 12th, 2023. A workday feels like a lifetime. It's like, oh my God. God, how many hours do I have left? Yet, when we go home and we fall asleep at night, it's never enough time. It's the same exact emotion. Oh, it feels like I just got here. Did you know there's such a thing as sleep drunk? Cerebral exhaustion. The brain is demanding rest. And no matter how much you try to fight off the need for some REM, the body is going to eventually take over, creating moments of sleep while you're awake. How often do you get caught up in a deep thought to the point of not moving? You're not even mentally there. You're just totally disappearing from reality. It can be quite dangerous, which is why I can't listen to books on tape or story-driven podcasts while driving. Having someone read makes my mind shut down. How then can we rest the mind during daylight hours and keep it safe? Meditation. Man, it does amazing things without robbing your body from the required fuel to march back into place. Because there is nothing worse than taking that quick nap, and then when you come out of it, there's absolutely no desire to get on with the rest of the day. Mm. Going to work. It feels like a lifetime. This is where I usually break out in laughter. About 10 minutes earlier or later, they'll say, what day is it again? January 12, 2023. How did it become January 12, 2023 already? See what I mean? We have no idea what the true measurement of time is. We complain about how many hours of work we've got left, and then we complain about how fast life is moving. I look at boredom as being a powerful tool in the chest. I go searching for things that are going to create boredom because it will slow time down. I can spend all day writing Four or five hours later, I'm going, what, what, what did I write about? Sure, I can go in and read it, but it's like, how, how, how did I get through this so quickly? But then when you go to work, it's like, oh, oh, we've got to get control of the mental states that we're in. We, we get lost in social networking because I'm addicted to reels. Reels are those videos that are on Facebook, and I know people go to TikTok, and we get lost there. We get lost in binge watches. I just did 1923 with Harrison Ford. Yeah, I was only supposed to spend 20 minutes watching that. I ended up doing the entire series, all five. Now I know why Disney does what Disney does, and, and even, even Paramount and, and Peacock are getting involved. Don't give people the entire series. They'll watch it in one sitting, and then, ah, we lose them. A workday feels like a lifetime, yet sleeping at night is never enough time. How often are you sleep drunk? I'm Errol, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.